Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a what's sold from HodgePodge. If you guys have been around the Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, this guy goes way back to the beginning. When I first started, I have been featuring his store for a very long time. And I think it's been about five months since I featured his store. So what does it mean to feature his store? Well, really, I'm just going to show you his what solds. And he is a big money Bolo finder. And I love featuring his store because I always learn so much from looking at his solds. So first off, he has a Facebook group. I'd love for you guys to all go and join it. And he also has a YouTube channel that he's not really doing anything with, but he does have some jewelry videos and he's super, super knowledgeable. So you're gonna learn a ton from him, but his YouTube channel already has over 600 subscribers and he's barely done anything with it, but he keeps saying he's going to. So go subscribe just in case, because he is a wealth of knowledge and a Bolo finder. So we are going to start with the lower. And when I say lower, it's not that low. Solds and work our way up to the higher solds. You guys get ready to have your socks knocked off. All right, let's get started here. So the first thing I need to do is pull up my screen share. So real quick, this is his Facebook group. It's eBay Life Resellers Research Group, Flippers, Sellers, Thrifters, Buyers, and more. That will be linked down in the description. Here is his YouTube channel, 633 subscribers without trying. That will also be linked down in the description. And here is his eBay store, which I will also link down in the description. So be sure to uh, check out his store. He's got really great stuff. So the first item he sold, which I just had to pick this one because you guys, it's vintage Kleenex from 1977. And he got these. Bought a closet full for like $3, have sold over 20 at 30 to 50. Several have sold to TV shows. So he got $50 for these Kleenex, you guys. How cool is that? Family size, family size. Very, very cool. All right. I just love that one. It's not a big money bolo, but he got the whole closet for three bucks. I mean, that all adds up. The next item is this little Kenner Big Daddy Ed Roth Rat Fink Rad Rods. Never seen these before. You guys know I love toys. This is from the 90s. He said this one sold for a best offer of 60 and he got it for a dollar along with like five others which have all sold for 35 to 75 each. So it's a little, there he is, just a little toy. You got to be careful um, when you're looking at toys because you can toss them to the side thinking they're nothing and they can be big money. I mean, 60 bucks for that. That's awesome. The next item is this Mary Thought teddy bear and it says the magnet bear. I don't know what the magnet bear means, but let's look at some of the photos so we know what we're looking for. The bear that attracts. Still not sure what it does. Maybe it has some sort of magnetic thing. I don't know. Made in England. This sold for $80 and he picked it up at a thrift store for $10. So Mary Thought Bear, the magnet bear. Okay, these are awesome. Mid-century modern vintage Bill Curry design line jacks, Jack George Nelson era white. So this is a Jack or Jacks. I don't know. You know, it's like a game, I think. Um, but he purchased a lot of six of these for $120. And the one, this one sold for $115. And I'm going to show you another one here, um, here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. So that is very cool. I, I would have walked right past that if I'm being completely honest. I would have had no idea. And what I would like to know, see if he did his own channel and he did his what solds, he could explain how he knew this was a bolo. That would be super educational, right? I've been trying to get him to do videos. You guys tell him in the comments of this video that he needs to put out content of his what solds. All right, this next thing, Nikon Mag Creator Magnetic Back Roller Massager. So it's a massager. He got this at a thrift store for $5 and he sold it for $115 plus shipping. 
The next item is a prosthetic leg. He got this at the Salvation Army and he got it out of the Halloween decor area. So he paid $3 for it. So if you guys do not know, um, prosthetic legs or anything like this that are medical, people need these. So if you find them, pick them up because people will buy them secondhand and used. Um, my husband actually found one at an estate sale that um, I was on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel and I showed it in the thrift battle against Donatella Bottolino, but mine was completely different. It was more metal. I've never seen one like this, but they definitely are a good pickup. He sold this for $125 and again, paid three for it. So somebody just, they shouldn't have had it in the Halloween department because people need these. This one does have some damage, but I don't know if it can be repaired or not, but 125 plus shipping on that. The next item is this vintage jade carved killer whale orca pin. He got this at a thrift store for $4 and sold it for 135 plus shipping. So Eddie um, is very, very knowledgeable in jewelry. As you saw on, um, let me go back over here to his YouTube channel. He has a bunch of unboxings of jewelry that he's picked up. Super educational. Definitely check those out if you're into jewelry. And he has some other videos also, but um, he hasn't done any content for a while. What's it been? Five months, five months. Oh, this is the little pet shop. Oh my goodness. I featured this in one of the videos. He found a little pet shop and he had it put in a group of like five and it was hidden in the back and the bids went crazy. It was like an ultra rare. So it looks like he did a little video on it. So you guys should definitely go check that out. Okay, we did the pin. Now we have this Nintendo NES 101 control deck top loader console. Uh, never seen this one, but he got it for $10 at a thrift store and he sold it for $135. So it's a top loader. I don't even think I would have known that, that that was some type of Nintendo. I mean, maybe the little Mario on the back would have given it away. <laughs> but yeah, that's all oh, it says it on the front. Huh. Have you guys ever seen a top loader? The next item is this red comb poultry feeds. It is a stool and Eddie's not afraid to sell big stuff. You know me, I shy away from that. He will ship pretty much anything. He got this at an antique shop for $30 and he sold it for a hundred on eBay and the buyer paid shipping. So it's an old stool. Very cool. The next item that sold is this box. You guys, it is the box and the styrofoam insert only. Yeah. How crazy is that? I know somebody recently posted a, one of these in the group, but they sold theirs for much less. Um, I want to say it was like 75 or something like that. He sold his for $175 and he got it at a yard sale for 10 bucks. And it even has right here some damage to it. So that is a fantastic return and the buyer paid shipping. So the buyer was almost all in for about 200 bucks. The next item is this vintage paper mache Napco Ware Hoover Girl Vacuum Nodder Bobblehead. Susie Smart. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he picked up a collection of bobbleheads and he paid two or wait. Hold on. I think it's on one of my other papers. I've got a whole list of papers here. Um, I'm not sure what he paid for it. I think he bought a whole collection for one price. And I'm not sure if the collection was $250 or if he's telling me this sold for $250. So I think it's on the next one. So I will let you know when we get to the next bobblehead. But this sold for $250. And here she is holding her vacuum. And uh, bobblehead, a great word to put is nodder. Also in the title. The next item that sold is this Bengals hat. He said he got it at the Goodwill for $1. And it sat for over a year. When they went to the Super Bowl... He sold it for $250. So sometimes if you're patient, timing is everything. So $250 plus shipping on that one. Cool old vintage Cincinnati Bengals hat. The next item, I could not find the notes on this one. Uh, maybe it'll be mixed in here, but 
it's a, I'm going to show it to you just because I have it pulled up. It's a modern blown glass copper bowl, Anthony Stern, England centerpiece. I don't know what he took a best offer for. He typically doesn't go too much under asking. Um, I would say maybe at the most 20%, but made in England there and it's signed. So anything that's etched into a piece, you know, it's probably, you know, handmade and maybe look up that artist. The next item is this Fiesta Drip Cut Serp Cobalt, Cobalt Blue Dispenser. He got this at a thrift store for $5 and he sold it for $275. That is fantastic. It's a Serp. It's for Serp. Come on, $275. That is crazy. I probably would have walked right past it. <laughs> the next one are these educational Legos. He got these at the Goodwill for $15. And he took a best offer of 200. So these look pretty old, but he's got all, he's showing all the manuals. Oh, teacher's manual. Um, hold on. Software and manuals. So it's some sort of software. Huh. Never seen anything like that. Let me know in the comments if anyone's ever sold anything like that and was yours a bolo. The next item is this other bobblehead here. Okay, so it looks like he bought the whole collection for 250 and it doesn't say where. He just bought it. Uh, this guy says Boston, and it sold for $310. It's Boster, Boston Bruins Hockey Knotter Bobblehead, paper mache again. So it's a bobblehead, and it's paper mache, and it's vintage. So definitely worth looking up. $310 plus shipping. The next item is this Lionel Train. He um, actually, it's a Lionel Standard Gauge pre-war cattle car. He got it at a yard sale and he paid $15 for it and he sold it for $315 plus shipping. Must have been one of those like uh, yard sale slash estate sales. I mean, you can't put yard sale in the title, right? Uh, a lot of people have yard sales that are actually for an estate. So it's probably what he meant. Bill Stroud, Burt Stark Mansion, South Carolina signed framed print. So here we go. It's got this, all this that goes with it and took a best offer of $265 on this and he paid 20 at a thrift store. He's really good at art and finding art pieces as well. Just super knowledgeable, well-rounded, like way... Um, way more he's been doing it a lot longer so he's he's got he knows his stuff the next item is this rare 14 inch perco ship steering wheel wood brass antique nautical maritime relic facebook marketplace he paid 60 bucks for it and it sold for 345 dollars it's just like he knew, he saw that on Facebook and he knew it was worth money. So he went and bought it. Like I would have saw that on Facebook and been like, oh, wow, uh, a ship wheel. <laughs> I would have had no clue. That's how we learn, right? That's why I do this. A state find wooden boat RC model as is incomplete handmade. He got it at a thrift store. <laughs> okay, you can't mix up a thrift store and a state sale. <laughs> so it looks like Eddie uses a state find in his uh, titles. He may be a fibber. We won't, we'll just say fibber. <laughs> Wooden boat, $3 thrift store and sold it for $331 plus shipping. It's something you would find at a estate sale. It could have been donated by an estate. Probably was actually. Eddie, you've got some explaining to do. The titles aren't matching my notes, buddy. <laughs> All right, the next item is this Copeland Spode Christmas uh, cookie jar. And he got this at a thrift store for $25 and he sold it for $325 plus shipping. That's amazing. All right, here's more of those jacks. Um, he sold six, or no wait, I'm sorry, bought six. Okay, here, here it is, you guys. So he bought six of them for $120. He sold the first set for $115 or the first one for $115. And these three sold for $345. Again, it says George Nelson Bill Curry design. 
Not sure what all that means, but for somebody who is a collector, I'm guessing that's important because he got big money for those jacks. Okay, like I said, he will sell furniture. Tell City Solid Maple Cattail Back Dining Room or Dining Side Chair. So it looks like he has five of them and he's already sold three. So instead of selling them as a lot, he is selling them in um, individually for like replacements if people need them. And he's already sold three. Tell City Chairs bought six for $75, have sold three at full price. And full price looks like it's $375. So that is fantastic. The next item is this rare vintage champagne or champagne. Yeah, not like champagne with a C, but champagne. I may be saying that wrong. Company, medical adjustable stool, stainless steel. Sold, uh, let's see, sold other for $350, medical stool, Salvation Army, $15. So you got it at a thrift store for $15. I may have messed up my notes here, but it says 350. Not sure. Sometimes if things, um, like if it was an auction and he took a best offer, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. If he auctioned it at 325 and maybe somebody offered him 350. I've seen that happen before. Or maybe it's a typo. The next item is this Elizabeth O'Neill Verner uh, Church Pencil Art Frame Charleston. He got this for $2 at the Goodwill. Oh, I'm sorry. Bought, let's see, Werner, Werner Pencil Art. Bought two at the Goodwill for eight. So he basically paid $4 for this and sold it for $375. This one is awesome. Looks like a file cabinet, right? No, this is not any file cabinet. This is a Schwab 2500 fireproof file cabinet, upright four drawers. So I guess we need to be looking up file cabinets because I didn't even know there was such a thing as a fireproof file cabinet. He got it at a yard sale for 40 bucks and he sold that for 400 with free local pickup. The next item, I'm not sure what these are. Antique primitive dry measure round boxes, wooden nesting handmade. So I, I guess they just hold stuff. Really, really cool. Um really cool. 95 at a local antique shop and he sold those for $75. And it looks like the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Chelsea ship clock, US government, eight and a half inch dial, Boston. Chelsea clock, uh, local antique shop for 65 and he sold that for $395 uh, plus shipping. So you can see he is willing to pay up for things if he knows that he can flip them for big money. The next item is this Napco. Oh, there's the head vase. Oh, here's the other one. Okay. You guys, I had to cut up all the papers and I, I deleted the head vase because I couldn't find it. I should have left it because I, I knew I would have found it. Okay. Napa signed $65 on Facebook marketplace and he sold this for $350. It's a garage sign. The next item is this antique, oh, the, oh, Zone, Zone, I don't know. Eosin Lady Art Nueve Figaro Vase. I think I said Nueve, right? I may not have. <laughs> I did my best. All right. Got it for $10 at a yard sale and sold it for $425 best offer. Look at that, would you? How fancy. Let's look at the bottom here. That's what it is on the bottom. Oh, and it even had the paperwork to make it easier to look up. That is awesome. Japan jacket sold for $250. So he took a best offer, half off, but it's because he got it free at a yard sale. So got it free at a yard sale and sold it for $250. Best offer, $250. This is reversible. It's not in great condition, which is probably why he went ahead and took the offer. But wow, that's amazing. The next item is this antique lightning rod amethyst glass ball. Um, lightning rod bought an entire collection, 14 total for $850 on Facebook Marketplace. Have sold four so far for 500 plus each. Wow. Um, again, 
I would not have eaten. What is it? Like, what does it do? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. I could just message him and say, what on earth is that thing? Let's see if it tells down here. No. Probably the person buying this for $525. They probably know what it does, right? The next item is this accordion sold for $500. Best offer was a global shipping program and it was damaged during shipment. eBay refunded them, but didn't take it from me. Another reason why he uses global shipping program. So if the item gets damaged during shipment in transit, um, eBay covers it is what he's saying here. Thrift store purchase 35 bucks and it's an accordion, rare student size. The next item is another one of the bobbleheads. Blackhawks sold for $615, best offer. Okay, here it is. He bought 44 bobblehead collection for $250. I knew there were, it told me how many on one of my pieces of paper. Um, I cut them into little strips and I'm reading them. Uh, so yeah, 44 for 250 bucks. What a deal. The next item is this uh, Moroccan mid-century tea table. Uh, let's see. He ended up taking a best offer of $850. He paid $25 at a yard sale for this. Check it out. Wow. How cool is that? All right. Let me go back to that one. Oh, I can't believe I just clicked on the right one. Uh, he got this at the Goodwill for $9 and he, and it had damage, uh, took a best offer and I cut it off. It's on another one. I know I saw it earlier. You guys probably want to know. It's going to look funny on my piece of paper because I cut it wrong. I can't find it. All right. Well, I can't tell you what he sold it for. But he did pay $10 at a yard sale. Oh, yeah. No. Now I'm all mixed up. You guys should see my little, my little pile of... I'm going to show you. It's so funny. All right. Let me come over here. So I had already pulled up all the tabs and I put them on a piece of paper, but they were all in the wrong order. So I made little pieces like this and that's what I've been reading from. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So check him out on, again, I'm going to show you these places to find him and I will link them below. His Facebook group, which is up to 13,000 members, his YouTube channel, which is HodgePodge. Um, you'll have to use the link down below. It's really hard to search that and find him, I've noticed. So you have to use the link. I don't know if there's just so many um, YouTube channels that have that in the title or what. And then also his eBay store will link down below. So definitely give him a follow so you can watch what he is uh, listing. It's a great way to learn wealth of knowledge. Check him out. Links below. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.